2.0s have arrived. All right, well, good morning, fam. It's a very disgusting day out here. I did not want to get out of bed this morning, but got way too much to do, and I knew that today was easy day, so package just showed up. Coke was already sitting on it within the first two seconds of it being put down, so I need to make up some coffee, get some other stuff taken care of, and uh, we'll get to the unboxing of those this afternoon, and I'm excited as heck to check out the difference between the original OG Belugas versus the 2.0s that just arrived, so let's get into it. Okay, so we're all showered up, got some coffee in my system. I'm actually awake and uh, gotten a few things done, so. Coco has officially made the shipping box for the uh, 2.0s, her bed, so it needs to be open. So let's go wake that little one up. Hi. Yeah. Can I have this? Can I open this? I need to open this. I need to open this. They don't help in this situation. Every single time. Okay, let's just hop right into this one. Okay, freaking sneak attack delivery on these ones. The up, they didn't update the UPS app properly for some reason. So I was just kind of like trying to figure out what was going on with it. I knew they were supposed to be out for delivery today, but then it, I just didn't get the delivery updates. So I <laughs> went on the phone and I was on, I was basically on the customer service line for like 20 minutes or some shit, trying to figure out what was going on, trying to get him the buzzer number for my apartment. And uh, needless to say, it all worked out. And uh, like within an hour after placing the phone call, I got the buzz and uh, they're here. So but yeah, so stoked that these came in today uh, before I had to go run out and do all my other stuff. So let's just, Pop on in. Manisha. <laughs> Slowest money shot in the world. Oh. There's something just ever so comforting about seeing that brown 350 box. <sighs> All right, that's the end of the review. See you guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Set unboxing, right? So they call these the gray old orange. I don't know if they have a full name for that colorway. Let me find out. Most important package right here. Box for the cat to sit in. Do you want to help me unbox? I haven't even got to open these and she just hopped right on. What a motherfuck. Okay, so according to the website, it is gray bold orange and then DGH solid gray. So I'm not 100% sure what DGH solid gray stands for, but here. Okay, you can hop off of my box, please. <laughs> okay, so here's the label on these guys. If you wanna check out the box label, feel free to send that to Stormzy. <laughs> I'm kidding. I got my size 13, which in the 350s since the bread the original Belugas and the Black Friday pack, uh, you ended up having to actually size up a little bit, about a half size, because they were a bit too tight in the toe box, but they seem to have ended up fixing it as soon as the bread colorway came out, and everything afterwards, you can pretty much go true to size. So, I'm hoping that these will be the same. From what I've heard, they are. So, 350 box, Easy Boost 350 on the back, adidas.com slash Kanye, made by Adidas. That box label again. Got a little paper beak. I'm just gonna scoot your little boat over, okay, Rogan? Okay, that is actually pretty clean. They made the gray seem really muted in all of the pictures, and I was hoping it had a bit more of an earth tone to it. And it, I mean, it is a bit of, it is a pretty muted gray. Definitely more so than the actual beluga. We'll take a comparison in a bit here, but there you go. That's the 350 
V2 Beluga 2.0. Sick. They're still using the same design of the prime knit upper that they've used on all of the other pairs, just kind of changed up the colorways within it. And so this one, the reason they're calling it the Beluga 2.0 is because it's based pretty much a very similar color, just a bit of more of a less earth tones and more of a solid gray color than the original Belugas. And so instead of having the orange stripe that goes all the way along, they muted that and then used the same orange for the Supply 350 lettering. Which on the right shoe it's still reversed okay and it's actually reversed on the left shoe as well which will be another difference from the original og belugas because that was one thing that i'm pretty sure it's only that way on the belugas and the, and the black friday pair i'll have to double check when we head on into the sneaker office but we'll do some actual comparisons to the og version and it maybe even some of the other ones but yeah i think they've got the pull tab is definitely here to stay it's been here on all models since the bread that same orange stitching, but on the actual pull tab itself. They started to actually nail the placement of that. Yeah, it looks really good. It's perfectly placed on both of mine now. I've had a couple pairs where like, it's like slightly in more on the other one and stuff, but that ain't no big deal. So yeah, and I think I'm pretty sure this has a bit more of a gray outsole to it as well. We'll have to double check once again, like I say, when we go into the sneaker office, and do the proper comparison, but yeah, Dem's clean though. This is my eighth pair of V2s now. So I've done some really in-depth reviews before and stuff. So if you wanna check out my other ones, I dabble on a little bit of something else in each vlog, but basic rundown on these is it's, it's two solid pieces of prime knit that are sewed together with this, this cross like pattern. I love the meme online. That's like the old school, like potato sack shoes that are sewn together in the middle and like, People were like saying that like that's a bad thing and if anything I'm like fuck yeah take some inspiration from back in the day <laughs> whether it was done that or not I don't know so anyways but yeah it's two pieces of prime knit that are sewn together in the middle that little like cross hatching some nice thick row places so they added a whole bunch of padding in the heel so it's actually like it's crazy comfortable and these are actually 3m stripes not gonna be needing this the most mass-produced v2 to date so there was like 200,000 pairs of these or something at least so that's crazy. There's no way that these things aren't going straight to my feet. I'm wondering, is this gonna be the first pair of V2s that I leave DS lacing rather than doing the big old messy lace? I love me the messy lacing. Okay, so. Nope. That's a easy. Nah, toe box feels good. Check this shit out. my cats loving that bed that I just bought them yesterday. Yo, these are hype. I kind of like that they're a bit more like subtle and low key. I have an idea that I might want to change out the laces, but we'll talk about that further. They fit just like your regular Yeezy. You can go true to size and we'll go hop into the sneaker office and uh, we'll do a proper comparison with the OGs. So Yeezy resell is dead as we know it, at least on the newest pair, because they produced a lot of these damn things. Today we're gonna hop in and take a look at the differences between the Beluga 2.0 that just came out and the OG Belugas. So let's just hop right in. I've been wearing these Bad Bama Jams for like the last few days straight, and I have actually fallen in love with these. So, and which is really funny because when I first saw the pictures for the Beluga 2.0, I was like, yeah, kind of nonchalant thinking I might even resell them if I got them. And uh, 
after getting them in person and seeing the color, you're like, the photos online did, did not do them justice. Kind of had to get them in hand, had to get them on feet, wearing them out and about in the sunlight. Well, I shouldn't say sunlight. We haven't really had proper sunlight in like a little bit, but peeked its head out a little bit today. Um, let's hop into what I think that you're all here actually for. Let's take a look at the differences between the 2.0 and the OG Beluga. We'll start off, I'm going to show you the difference between the two colors here. So as you can see on the OG Beluga, it has almost a bit more of earth tones to it, where like the zebra striping within it is actually like a dark brown. Or like, no, it's still more of like, it's like a brownish kind of gray. Whereas on the Beluga 2.0, it's much darker grays and it's almost like a black for the stripes. So it's much, much more muted gray on this. A um, bit more earth tone vibes on the OG. So, good comparison there for you there. There is the side profile for you there. And then obviously the main difference on the back was that on the OG, there was no pull tab. And then they brought back the pull tab on the breads. And it's been here to stay ever since. So, so basically the OG Beluga and the Black Friday pack are the only ones that don't have the pull tab. And then the other cosmetic difference, obviously, is that the OG Beluga has that, that infamous orange stripe, which we've seen replicated by a bunch of hilarious companies. Like Skechers did a bunch of like crazy ripoffs of it. It's super funny. So that, where on this one, there is no stripe, but the Supply 350 is in uh, that bolt orange that would be uh, used on the stripe. And then your other main difference is that the rope laces on the OG Beluga have that like multicolored kind of like crisscross pattern, whereas this is just a solid gray lace. I'm almost thinking that these would look really sick with like that same kind of color scheme lace, but obviously with this colorway, I don't know, think about doing it. And so because this one had the solar orange stripe, it had a whole bunch more of orange speckled out through the actual, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can find this here. You can see the little speckles of solar orange popping through the actual zebra colorway itself. So on the inside of this one, on the OG Beluga, it had a lot more of this like neon orange and stuff because that was interlaced throughout the actual entirety of the shoe. Whereas on the Beluga 2.0, it's just a solid gray. And it's got a different pattern on the inside as, as well, once again. So, so the stripes on the inside of the tongue of the OG Beluga are just actually like aren't actually 3M, whereas on the inside of this one, you've got the 3M stripes like you do on the rest of the V2s. Cosmetically, that's your main differences between the OG Beluga and the 2.0. So now, the main question that a lot of people are gonna be asking is how do they fit? Which is obviously a big concern after about the sizing issues that happened in the initial colorways. And at first I know when I got these, I said that they fit exactly the same. But after wearing them for a few days, I've noticed that they are a little bit snugger than the previous pairs that I said are perfect to wear with the insole. So, do you need to have size up? I'm gonna say no, because I've actually been wearing these around and they actually fit great. Obviously they're like, feel a tiny bit snugger than my other pairs, but they're brand new, it's PK, it's gonna wear in, and let's be honest, with this colorway, I'm gonna beat the heck out of these. And I've, I completely recommend it with anybody that has them because like you should be doing that with your shoes anyways. So let's wear them shits. So yeah, I don't think you need to actually half size up. If they are slightly too tight on you, you can just take the insole out and it'll fit perfectly. But yeah, I'd still rock these perfectly true to size. And uh, yeah, they fit pretty damn good. So as you can see, I went for the floppy uh, unlaced Kanye style lacing like I do with all my pairs. Just child of the 90s. For some reason, it was cool to have uh, ripped jeans and leave your laces untied. Like you weren't giving a fuck, so. <laughs> Nostalgic things. I have to say this pair was a bit of a sleeper for me. I wasn't expecting it. Kinda nice to have a pair of Yeezys that I don't have to worry about like crazy resale prices. Not that I do anyways, but the fact that I'm just gonna like, I mean, not that I really cared anyways. You've seen me beat the hell out of my zebras and stuff, so. I guess the main thing out of this is, wear your shoes. <laughs> yeah, I think that covered all the main differences on this. S variations in the colorway from uh, the 2.0 to the OG, how it fits, the main thoughts on it. Yeah, like less than two weeks now until the blue tint drops. So freaking crazy how that shit happens already. But got a bunch of crazy shit coming in this week and, uh, and a mysterious package just showed up for me. So I'll have to check that one out. 
But yeah, super stoked on these things. Let me know if you guys copped. Let me know if you enjoy this colorway or even if you're just one of the uh, people who just completely hate Yeezys because that stuff's always entertaining as well. Hit me up in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. As always, find your passion, create dreams, and let's get it. Thank you.